Hey guys, it is Julie here with JT Wealth. Today we are going over Apple's recent announcement of their four for one stock split. So let's get into it. Okay, so we briefly mentioned this Apple stock split news last Thursday in our Scott's Miracle Grow video because the news came out right while we were filming. So we wanted to give you that bonus info. But obviously there's a lot more to discuss about this stock split and what it means. Does this create a buying opportunity and how exactly does this stock split work? Before we get into all of that, just a quick reminder, make sure you hit that like button down below and make sure you're subscribed. We really appreciate the support and it's really exciting watching the channel grow. Okay, so now into Apple's recent news. First, let's start off with some news regarding their earnings report. So you can see here that their fiscal third quarter revenue rose 11% year over year, and the earnings per share climbed 18%. This is quite impressive considering that analysts were actually expecting revenue to fall. Obviously, the last few months we're going through quarantine and stuff, so companies have had struggles here, but their CFO said that their June quarter was a testament to Apple's ability to innovate and execute during challenging times. Along with this earnings report news, Apple also announced that it is doing a four for one stock split. So this means if you currently own one share of Apple, you're gonna end up owning four shares of Apple. And once that happens, each of those shares will be worth approximately a quarter of the cost. So here's some important info and dates regarding the stock split. So this is right from Apple's site there. And the most important thing on here are those dates in the middle. So the record date is August 24th. Like it says, this determines which shareholders are entitled to receive additional shares due to the split. So if you are wanting to buy Apple shares right now that are gonna be eligible for the split, it has to be by this date. August 28th is then the day that the shareholders are going to get their split shares. And the X date on August 31st is the date where on NASDAQ, Apple shares will be trading at that new split cost. Now you may have noticed on that slide as well that this is certainly not the first time Apple has done a stock split. Their first one was actually back in 1987. So let's take a moment, imagine it's 1987 and you own 100 shares of Apple. You can see here that in 87, that stock split would have made that 100 into 200. And then three other splits since then before this new one coming up on August 31st. But that 100 shares in 1986, after this August 31st split, would be worth 22,400 shares. That's a pretty impressive amount of shares considering that would be if you didn't invest anything else in Apple during that whole period. That's just your original 100 shares. But what does a stock split actually mean for investors? Basically nothing, especially if you're a long-term investor. In this article, you can see Rick Edelman says that this is not a financial event and has no economy implications or bearing on the value of the investment or the outlook for Apple as a business. It's a non-event. But down below, what I think is really important is the second answer is that it's a huge event from a psychological perspective. This type of news about stock splits really plays on our emotions, but we know that our emotions cannot be trusted when we're looking at rational investing. So if you're a long-term investor and you have the choice of one stock at $400 or four stocks at $100, it really shouldn't change your choice if your investment strategy is long-term and based on solid value. Now this one here is just a quote that I love from Ryan Sterling. They're talking about not giving into the impulse from that stock split. And it just says that any enthusiasm you feel from a stock split, I would take with a whole lot of caution. When we talk about money in the stock market, the biggest of rotor of wealth over time is human emotions. It used to be that stock splits helped these more expensive companies become affordable to a wider range of investors. And that is the same reason that Apple has given for this stock split. But nowadays we know that fractional shares are available at almost every brokerage. So that thinking's just no longer necessary. You can get a piece of these expensive stocks for a few dollars each. Now, none of this is to say that Apple is not a good buy but that is based on their strength as a company overall and not just on this stock split. If you see value in Apple and are wanting to invest, put that $100 into a fractional share right now instead of waiting to buy it at that price after the split. 
Now, I will note that I am saying invest that hunter now as more of a fundamental example. I do think that all of this excitement has caused the Apple price to certainly surge. So I would be more comfortable investing closer to that $400 mark, maybe once all this hype has died down and we see that price settle a little bit. Like I said before, this is a solid long-term company, I think. We saw that 11% growth year over year, and they saw growth in every segment of their business. Over this quarantine time, that has been no easy feat. Here on our tip ranks, you can see they have a whole 32 analysis with 12 month price targets for Apple. That average is around the $420 mark, uh, with a high of 500 and a low of 295. Considering their strong earnings report, really solid fundamentals, and being able to produce during some of the most difficult times, Apple has really proven to be an effective company. If you're going to invest in Apple, do it because you want to invest in Apple, not just because of a stock split. Although the stock split is news, it does not change how the company operates or how you should be investing in them. At the end of the day, they're taking your dollar and giving you four quarters. So whether you buy Apple today or after the stock split, it doesn't matter. I think you're in good hands, but just make sure that you are watching any of those price fluctuations so you can try and get in there at your happy price point. So leave a comment below. I would love to hear what your thoughts are on this stock split and what it's gonna do for the Apple stock. Are you invested in Apple right now? Do you plan on getting in on some Apple stock? I always love hearing from you guys, so please leave that comment. Make sure that you hit that like button and that you're subscribed to our channel as well, and have yourself an awesome day. Cheers.